Hi guys, it's been a while. Welcome to this week's episode of Blue Circle's weekly video blog. I didn't think if I even remember the title. I am so sorry for how long it's been since I last made a video. I got very busy, busier than anticipated, which was a mistake on my part, of how much work there would need to be done before Katsukon and MAGFest. I had a lot of commissions due for MAG, uh, I had a lot of commissions due for Katsukon, and uh, I mean, I made everything, everything got good on time. I was just very, very busy. And then MAGFest was coming up, which I attended this past weekend, which I will go into later. But yeah, I just, I wanted to, po I wanted to post a video even to you guys so bad, just being like, hey, just give me like a little bit of time until MAGFest is over and I'll get a video back up and everything will be cool. And then that didn't happen because of exactly how busy I got. So I apologize for that. We should be back to normal, our normal weekly recording schedule after this though, and it shouldn't be an issue from there on out. I definitely learned more about my time management. I always do, I feel like, with each major like crunch, so we should be good from here on out, or we should be better from here on out. You'll notice I'm recording out in my living room today, so my laptop kicked the bucket, uh, I think it was about a week, two weeks ago now. So I'm still figuring out stuff on my new Chromebook, so we're gonna be out here in the living room in the meantime because this one has Movie Maker and all the proper outputs for me to be able to plug in the video on the microphone. So you get to have this going on for a while, which is not really exciting. You've got some uh, countertops over here and some plush animals on my couch over here and the stationary bike behind me. So we'll have to deal with it. Um, for starters, so tying into MAGFest, I wanted to make sure that I played Undertale before I went to MAGFest because I was pretty certain that if I did not, I would not comprehend 90% of the con between, you know, cosplay, between jokes, between potential panels that may occur, you know, stuff like that. So again, thanks to my good friend Nathan, who purchased the game for me and sent that to me as a gift. I was able to play Undertale before I took off for MAGFest. I did a neutral one and I did the True Pacifist run and wow, no one warned me. Okay, people told me that it had a feel to it like the Mother series like Earthbound did. No one told me that wasn't just in game style but also in the emotional distress that it was going to cause me. So I'm gonna talk about spoilers so just so you're aware, if you haven't played Undertale, I would stop the video, go play Undertale immediately, and then come back. Um, I loved it. I really, really enjoyed it. I knew little bits and pieces about the game going into it, because Jan had played it before I did. He played it like a week ahead of me, which is good, because then we both have been able to like joke around and enjoy it in the same time span. Uh, so I knew some things, I knew some of the music, I knew some of the characters, because everyone's been you know, cosplaying it and talking about it since last year when it came out. Um, really, really loved it though. The storytelling was great. The characters were really great. The music was phenomenal. I can't, I can't get over the music as you can tell here. Um, man, it was just a really well done game. I didn't really know what to expect. I'm not good at bullet hells, so this was a bit of a challenge for me. It wasn't you know, straight up an RPG is an RPG with bullet hell elements, so it was an interesting twist on things. I've never played a game like that before. I think there are games like that that exist though, but this is my first interaction with them. So that was pretty cool, even though it was very challenging, which was good. It shouldn't always be like, easy peasy, what's the fun if a game isn't a little challenging once in a while, you know? So I did my neutral run and was very upset after that happened. Uh, I definitely teared up a little bit during the Asgore fight and then was immediately furiously angry when we got up to the flowy Photoshop flowy fight. I was really confused. I didn't want to believe even that this was a real fight I had to do. Holy shit, are you kidding me? So I was like very emotional, whatever. Then I did a true pacifist run, and my god, if I thought I had been emotional before, I was a disgusting, sobbing, crying, 
mess at the end. Um, like I said, I've played the Mother series, I've played Mother 2, aka Earthbound, and I've played Mother 3, and just wh why must we... What is with these striped shirt children and the pain that they must suffer through? I was so emotional. That's like all I got. I just was crying so much during the Azrael fight at the end. And I cried so much when you had all these options of like having first comfort Azrael and giving Azrael a hug. And then at the very, very end of the game, before you leave the underground, if you go all the way back to the beginning and you go to the sunflower, the, the golden flower bed that you fell into, and there's Azrael, and I was just sobbing, like, sobbing, snot running down my nose. No one, no one wants to see me looking like that. I'm really glad I decided not to stream it because I would have been highly embarrassed by how gross I was because I was just letting my emotions run free. So, in conclusion, Undertale was superb. I'm so glad that, you know, this was just made by like a couple of friends, I guess, and they did a phenomenal job and it's readily available for all of us and it's like one of the most popular things, you know, currently. It was, it was great. Uh, I want to cosplay Undyne very, very badly. I'm hopefully gonna be picking up some body paint this week and a friend is giving me, uh, like, the ear prosthetics. Hopefully I'll have an Undyne cosplay by the end of this year or sometime and I can do cool cool photos or whatever. I don't know. That's, that's the character I walked away with being like that one. I want to cosplay that one because as cosplayers do, we look at a thing, we watch a thing, we play a game, whatever, and we always come out of it with like at least one or more characters that we want to cosplay. So that was, that was how it wrapped up for me. Man, I love Undertale though. Just, uh, what a good experience. What a good experience. So anyway, so I played Undertale so that when I attended MAGFest, I would understand. And boy, I'm glad I did because there were a ton of Undertale cosplayers at MAGFest and little jokes going on here and there. So here's my MAGFest report. I didn't get to video blog during the convention because I was too busy having too much fun, but MAGFest was awesome. So freaking awesome. I attended last year for my first time and it was really good, but I also went kind of low-key, like I still did mostly cosplay. Uh, I didn't buy a badge, I just sort of floated around, I borrowed someone else's badge to kind of like check out things here and there. But I didn't go to any panels, I only like walked around the game room once, I mostly was like just hanging out with friends and doing stuff like that. But this year, uh, I bought a badge, and extra bonus, I convinced Jan to come along with me. Jan hasn't been to a convention since about 2008, but I had a feeling from base I had a feeling based off of what I had experienced from MAGFest last year that it would be something that he'd enjoy. You know, he's super duper into video games. He knows way, no, way more about video games than I do. I really wanted him to come along, both for his benefit of him enjoying himself and for me because it'd be fun to go to a con with, you know, my significant other for like the first time in a million years because I've never gone to a con with Jan. I've gone to con with, you know, cons with ex-girlfriends before, but Th this one was really good. So we got there Thursday, we stayed through till uh, Sunday afternoon. We did so much stuff while we were there. We checked out the VG boot Bootcamp panel because, like I mentioned in a previous podcast, we're both really into Smash tournaments, and so we checked that out. I got to meet Gimmer, which was pretty cool. Uh, I was super duper shy about meeting him, but we got to shake hands, and me and Jan said hi to him, so that was really cool. Uh, we checked out the Super Smash Brothers opera, which was a bunch of like people who put on a Smash Brothers opera. They did a whole play telling like a little tale with a live orchestra too of other like big fans and like costumes and puppets. It was so cool. I didn't expect it to be that great and it was awesome. I loved it and I can't wait. I'm already like, I can't wait to do, do that again next year. Um, we checked out the Journey Live concert, which was beautiful. If you didn't see it, like if you didn't go while you were there or if you didn't get the chance to go, they have it up available for you to watch online. 
uh, I'll try and find a link and I'll post that link in the comment in my description section so that you can check it out. Uh, it was beautiful. So they handpicked like six people, they tested, they did like an audition for six people to play the game during the concert while the orchestra was playing the music to the game. I hadn't played Journey before, I'd watched a couple of people like play on and off, little things here and there. But I really wanted to go because I'm like, this is going to be amazing and Lord knows how much I love live video game music being played. Uh, and it was gorgeous. It was smooth for as much as they were like, we picked these people over the weekend and that's, we're going to just roll with it. Everything I went off without a hitch. All the gamers knew what they were doing. Uh, I definitely got teary eyed at the end. Uh, even more perfect too was that by some chance event, we did run into another player during our journey. So White Raven 444 if someone hasn't already told you, and I'm sure you're not gonna see from my video because no one, you know, I'm not a big big name or anything like that, but they are a lucky person indeed, and Lord do they know what they were actually a part of. Uh, we filled the whole, like, we filled the entire ballroom at the concert venue at at magfest it was completely full for people wanting to see journey live it was incredible and what made it really good too was instead of standing during the concert because it's not really a standing concert you know like orchestra music so they let us all sit down so we're all like sitting down powwow like this like intimate group big group but intimate group and it it really felt like a really lovely shared kind of experience that we all had so that was fantastic what else did i do i checked out the game room like jan went to go play smash of course so that was fun and i like stood around and watched him play that i got to meet some more of his friends who also had come to the convention uh, Jan and I got to cosplay together, which was something I was really, really looking forward to. So, me and Jan cosplayed Okabe and Karisu from Steins Gate together, so that was super fun. Uh, Jan got a lot of compliments on his costume, which was great because A, it was his first time cosplaying, so I was really nervous about that. B, I stole his wig for him, so I feel like, you know, wigs are kind of the key thing to pulling a look together sometimes, so I'm glad that it read as, you know, Okabe, and, th and D, C, A, B, C, that's how the alphabet works, right? C, uh, his costume was able to be completely purchased because Okabe just wears completely normal clothes. It's not wacky anime bullshit. It's a white lab coat, gray shirt, khaki pants. We're good to go. So I didn't have to make anything from him either, which was nice and also easier on me because it meant one last costume to have to make. And everyone really responded to it well. We got some really cute pictures. My friend's gonna edit those together for us. I'll be sure to post them on my Facebook page once uh, I receive them back. So I'm really excited that we got to do that together. I also cosplayed Roxas for the first time in approximately seven, eight years. I was very nervous about it because I am eight years older now. I'm almost 30 and I was very concerned that I was just gonna look like some old lady trying to cosplay a 15 year old boy. But I'm really happy. I looked really good. I worked really hard on my wig. My coat came out good. It was super fun. I got pictures in that too. Of course, I wasn't in Roxas for too long uh, at the con, but I was in it just long enough to, to feel good about things. So I just like, I, we checked out a whole bunch of stuff. We were at a panel on Saturday night until about 5.30 in the morning. I got four hours of sleep that night before I had the next wake up the next day and make it in time for checkout. Oh, we, the other thing, sorry, I just remember the other thing that we checked out that was really fun was the voice actor uh, panel that had Ellen McLean on it. It was hilarious, that was super good. Everything we checked out was super good. I'm really glad that I got to do so much at MAGFest this year. I'm already looking forward to going back. I will probably go to MAGFest Classic since I'm like, oh, I need more. Because I didn't even get to do everything I wanted to do at MAGFest. There was so much to do. It's impossible to get everything in, especially when there's 24 hour programming. It's insane. I just I just had a really good time. Uh, it's just like my kind of crowd. It's just like an older crowd, people who want to have fun, people who want to party. Everyone was like, everyone was super polite though at the con. 
I got, you know, nice compliments on my outfits, on my hair. Uh, nobody was rude to me. No one was obnoxious. All my interactions with people in the elevators were super fun. It's just like, so many of my friends also are like, this is my favorite con. This is my favorite con to go to. This is my best, you know, the best kind of experience I could ask for. And I feel, I feel the same way. Super looking forward to it. So, in conclusion, Magfest rocked. Undertale is a great game. And we are going to get back on schedule with weekly video blogging. So, tune in next week. I'm going to have some impressions for you about... Friday, I am attending a Final Fantasy piano concert. So it's just like last year. If you last year I went to Magfest and then about a week or two later I went to the Distant Worlds concert in New Jersey. And now this year, also about a week after Magfest, I'm attending another Final Fantasy concert. So it's nice that I have that little like, oh, I get to carry my video game feels over for just a little bit extra longer. So Final Fantasy piano concert, I am super looking forward to that. I Last year I did a garnet chord for my Distant Worlds uh, event. So I'm gonna try and do one for Terror since I've got the green hair thing going on now. So we'll see. Uh, thank you all for watching. Again, I'm sorry this video is also very long. I feel like all my videos are just gonna be around the 15 minute mark, so you might have to deal with that. But it also kind of makes up for not having videos for three weeks, so no complaints. Um, thanks again so much, everyone. I've been getting all your extra comments and stuff too on things, and I like a lot of the suggestions you've all had, so I will definitely incorporate that all in at some point in other videos. So thank you again so much and tune in next week. Bye bye.